welcome to my DIY channel again now today I'm gonna show you how to replace the Yale Euro cylinder lock this is the old lock which has wear off as you can see it can turn but sometimes it slip you see it slip it does not move at all it slip You need to buy a matching Euro cylinder. To successfully replace a Euro cylinder, you must buy a matching Euro cylinder. So you have to measure the cylinder that you ought to replace. Some of the cylinder are 35, 35, total of 70 millimeters. Some of them are 30, 30, total of 60. And some of them are asymmetrical, 30 and 40. So you must know the type the measurement before you order the Euro cylinder so as the keyhole area you must buy a matching keyhole dimension this is 10 millimeters this is 17 millimeters and this is 33 millimeters so match with the Sanguchi Euro cylinders that I have purchased now to remove the Euro cylinder core you do not need to remove this metal cap instead this is the metal plate that you need to remove to expose the inner screw that secure the euro cylinder in position use a drill driver take out the three screw now the plate exposed now there are three screw here it is the middle screw that you're supposed to Take out, huh? Then now and slowly wobble it out. Now if you feel a bit stuck, try to rotate it a bit. There you go. Wobble it out. Because if you do not wobble and align it properly, this thing will prevent it from slipping out. So you must align it into a parallel position before it can pull it up smoothly. Yep. Now this is the replacement Euro cylinder. This is the old one. This is a new one. Again, to insert it, you must make sure that it has to be aligned. Yeah. Otherwise, you feel stuck. Just slot it in, wobble a bit until you see it coming up from the other side. Just about to see, yeah. And then secure it back with the long pin. Now, before you screw this, wobble it again. Yeah, it is in the correct position. Now screw back the plate 